Okay, focus. Good! Good evening and welcome to this special video. Josh here and Steffi. Today is Wednesday. We're starting out the video. Strong! Um, we're going to try to figure out which grocery store is the best when it comes to pricing, when it comes to the actual environment of the store, and when it comes to the quality of product that they are selling. We're gonna be uh, trying out three different grocery stores. Uh, one of them is gonna be Sedanos. Sedanos. It's a typical Miami, uh, very affordable supermarket here in Miami. Uh, we're also going to try a Publix, my personal favorite, and we're going to try out the infamous uh, Whole Foods. Well, it's not infamous; it's famous for a lot of people. Uh, we're gonna try all three. We're gonna we're gonna see pricing. We're gonna see how nice the environment is when it comes to service, when it comes to how their products are laid out, stuff like that. And uh, we're also gonna look at the product itself. Any thoughts? Which one do you think is going to be the best when it comes to quality of product and price? Publix. That's a no-brainer. I'm also guessing it's Publix because honestly, you can't beat their prices half of the time with those BOGO deals. So, for things first, Sedanos. You have to judge the cart. The cart doesn't look that bad. No, it's not. It's actually not too shaky. So first things first, the tomatoes, 59 cents a pound. They look okay, I guess. All right, so uh, let's just let's just get a pound of tomatoes, I guess. Number two on the list, bananas. These are 69 cents. Pick the best one. It's a nice uh, it's a net. Well, this is of holy crap. Bananas are so heavy. What happens? To <laughs> Eagles. Eagles? You know what they're Esther, look what like? are eagles? Here. Thanks, Here. Esther. Next up, churrasco. Alright, so we got ten dollars and forty-three cents here. It's eight ninety nine a pound. There's actually a lack of color in this entire section. For cereal, we're gonna go with the classic Lucky Charms. You can't go wrong with Lucky Charms. For a dashing for they probably don't, but they probably have their own version of Lucky Charms, which is just as good, I think. <laughs> the next step is the famous milk, February 22nd, 2.79. Wow, that's very cheap milk. All right, milk check, 2.59 for 12 dozen eggs. Stuff's all the way up in the front. Damn. Total for Sedanos is $23.47. Not bad. I'm gonna be honest with you, that's probably the cheapest groceries I've ever made in my life. All right, so second stop is pop. Oh, God, Lee. This woman's like seven steps ahead of me always. <laughs> so we judge the cart. Carts are green. No signs of squeakiness. Actually, smooth as butter. Oh gosh. Let's stick to the plan, Seth. A little bit better uh, presentation here. The tomatoes are $2.49 a pound. These tomatoes look like they were spray painted. <laughs> Can you believe? Over there you got four tomatoes, here you got three tomatoes. Well, these tomatoes look bigger and healthier. Over there, oh, at Whole Foods, it's gonna be like, we can only afford half a tomato. <laughs> All right, so that's a pound and a half of tomatoes. Um, bananas is next. This is all stuff like your bananas, green. All right, so these were what? Five cents a pound. Oh, oh. bananas? Cheers. Cereal. Like a charm. But the regular box, is it this one? Yeah. Okay, and it's a $4.49. Next. Next is the milk. $3.65. Wow, that's like a dollar something more. February 24th. Check. Well, extra large eggs. 
Bam. $2.19. I'll take it. We got our skid steak. $15. Publix. It is. Come on, focus, 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 focus. Oh goodness, we're focusing. There it is. Thirty-one dollars with sixty cents is our grand here at Publix. Next stop. Oh, come on, focus. Whole Foods is known for their very organic and delicious and healthy. And expensive. And expensive food. First step, bananas. 49 cents. It's actually the cheapest. Alright, so we need about three and a half pounds of these suckers. Bam, bro. What do you want in life? Bananas? Check. Alright, moving on. These also look spray painted. A dollar ninety-nine a pan. How much were they at Publix? They're actually cheaper here. They were two forty nine dollars at Publix. What's going on? Is this because of Amazon? Or has it always been like this and we've just been deceived by marketing? <laughs> Last time we only got two tomatoes. Oh, nope, not yet. No. Bam, pound and a half. I think we're switching Publix for Whole Foods. I don't know. I'm starting to, uh, I'm starting to feel like, uh, I've been deceived. So this is a little bit better quality than the ones that we got at Publix. Skirt steak check. We actually had to get it in the carniceria. How do you say that? It's the same price. Yeah, that's the carniceria. Twelve ninety nine a pound, but this is the outside skirt steak. It's the better quality of the inner. Next is eggs. We got to go with uh, three sixty five. That's the Whole Foods extra large. Uh, oh, these are cage free. Plus, oh, these are also cage. Okay. What's the difference? These eggs look very nice. Okay, eggs check. A gallon of milk is three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. All right, so this is the problem that we knew we were gonna encounter. I don't think Lucky Charms exist in a healthy place like Whole Foods. I'm gonna grab this just because I want to. This is a very small box that costs three dollars and ninety nine cents. Or this one. Puffins. No, I think I'm gonna take these little balls. And Steffi is going to try the strawberry one. Steffi's gonna try this one. But this isn't part of our uh, of our test. And this is? Yeah, because it's the, the sweetest, this is weirdest. Similar to compared to the rest of this flaxseed. Um that's it. I think we're good. All right, TV focus. Thirty-two dollars and sixty-nine cents. What? That's literally like a dollar more than Publix. So a dollar less. I can't believe that we spent a dollar more for Whole Foods. Comparison is gonna come up. What exactly did we buy, and was it worth it? I love you. Bye, Goyo. Good night. Gracias. <laughs> No. So Steffi's gonna put the baby to sleep, but here is the food. So Whole Foods, basically everything is the same. We have our tomatoes, we have our bananas, we have our extra large eggs, our whole milk. Uh, cereal's different and the meat is different. They didn't have inside skirt, they only had outside skirt for Whole Foods, but everything else is, is the same. We got Lucky Charms in Publix and Sedanos, but here we got these peanut butter cocoa balls. This is the closest junk that we could find in Whole Foods. These are our three different types, our three different grocery stores. <laughs> there you go. Now, the quality of the food is obviously much different, and you can tell by the tomatoes. I mean, the, the biggest, the biggest uh, di differentiation is, is the tomatoes, really. They're kind of bruised, if this camera can cooperate with me, uh, they're they're kind of bruised. They don't smell that all that all that well. Um, they have a weird you know discoloration to them. Yeah, they're kind of weird. Uh, the bananas they look all right. You know it's all right. 
Um, these are Chiquitas. These look a little bit better. And uh, Public Senators look, you know, a lot better. Still some bruising, but they don't have that same old produce stench if you ever walk to like a cheap supermarket. But it's a little bit better coloration compared to the Sedano's tomatoes. You could be picky. And I guess really you see the difference inside of the tomato. I'm not a produce guy, but um, you can definitely tell by the, the way that they look. And then here are the tomatoes from Whole Foods. These babies look pretty nice. Very, very little bruising. Um, and they just look whole, man. This tomato, it just, it just feels, it just feels right. Uh, the eggs is another, another different. These are, these are organic, large egg, cage-free plus, whatever that means. And the, the eggs are, they're beautiful. I mean, these suckers are beautiful. These eggs are beautiful as well, but you know, they're, they're your regular standard eggs. Will you tell the difference in how they taste? I, I'm not sure. Honestly, I've never, I've never had that test. But that is definitely something that we're going to test uh, eventually. Not today because it's it's late already. Here are the bananas from from Whole Foods. These are from Colombia. Uh, fair trade certified. A lot bigger, longer, and uh, it just it just looks right. The steak we have to get it from the. The, the the steak, what is it, the steak shop? I know in Spanish it's carniceria, in Spanish, in English it's, uh, what is it, Esther? And that's what it is. So the difference is when it comes to the totals, in Sedano's we spent $23.47, in Publix $31.60, and in Whole Foods $32.69. So when you look at the totals, really the, the savings between Publix and Whole Foods is, is a buck we, we bought the same exact things but the difference is a dollar and one can argue we got a little bit better uh, food we got better steak we got better eggs uh, we got better bananas so Whole Foods you you kind of win there when it comes to the Sedano's you, you definitely do save you almost save a, a whole ten dollars but you are sacrificing quality of food that you're getting there if I had to choose I'm always a guy that goes for quality. That's why I've always gone to Publix. But if I'm gonna pay a dollar more for uh, items that I generally get, man, I'm, I'm gonna go to Whole Foods. Because alone, organic cage-free eggs versus you know your regular standard eggs, and this awesome steak versus this steak, and these awesome bananas versus these bananas, these tomatoes versus these tomatoes, I mean, honestly, the difference I, I, I couldn't tell, but probably in the taste it will. I'm gonna pay a buck more for organic certified food. That's that's my take on it. I mean, this can get this this can definitely get more complicated. Let me zoom out because I'm super close. This can definitely get more complicated depending on what you what you would buy in each store. Um, but we're gonna try out Whole Foods. Uh, one of these days as a, our sole provider for groceries for a month and and see if it you know runs our bank up at least we'll see um, but I'm, I'm very curious I hope this helped a little bit um, when it comes to your groceries I'll, I'll definitely give these guys this is not an ad by the way Whole Foods did not pay us to do this we were just we were genuinely curious and and um, the differences between these three different stores um, because it's you would always hear that Whole Foods is super expensive. The food there is crazy. It's only for rich people and stuff. But I mean, if you shop smart, you can you can get you know good bang for your buck. And uh, Sedano's was always known to be the super cheap, affordable way to save some money, and that's true. But you know, quality. Mm -hmm. Publix was always the middleman. But what you're saving in this case, a dollar. I mean, come on. Dollar more to go to Whole Foods, man, I'll take it. So hopefully this extensive review helped you guys a little bit. And if it didn't, and maybe you skipped it, then I'm sorry. Let me know if this was useful and if we should do these type of things more often, because we always want to help you guys when it comes to your, uh, when it comes to your groceries, when it comes to parenting, when it comes to livelihood, or when you're trying to take care of your family, you know? We want to be able to help you guys out a little bit more and uh, kind of share with you guys what we learned, so. Believe it or not, all this food will be gone. We are in a 
in the house with our in-laws. We, we, we will consume this. We eat a lot of eggs. And uh, maybe, we'll give a, maybe we'll give a few things away. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. This was super long. Hopefully it wasn't boring. Hopefully there was music in the background that kind of kept you motivated. See you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be an awesome day as well. So, good night.